Hey you guys, this is me, Noah Carlos, and I'm back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be showing up some stuff that I actually got today. So, I was just at a, uh, train show event. Basically, where I was just walking around looking at these cool, uh, trains, like Lionel trains that are running around on tracks and, yeah, such like that. And I actually managed to get a few train related stuff while I was there. So I'm going to show you some of those stuff. Uh, even though one of them isn't really train related. But whatever. I'm just going to show you the stuff that I got. So uh, so here's one of the things that I got. I got this, uh, this nice uh, train book called Classic Railroad Science, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, 43 years of rare color photos. So that looks pretty nice. So while we were there, we took a bit of a look inside the book and we saw some nice train pictures in there. So that's pretty nice. The next thing that I bought really is uh, train related. It's not, yeah, it's not train related, but it's actually uh, this nice Lego set. To be honest, when I, when, while we were there, while I was there with my mom, I actually began to wonder for a little while why that there weren't any train related Lego sets. Uh, don't get me wrong, there were Lego sets and other stuff there, other than, than other than the, other than just trains, but uh, for some reason there weren't any Lego train sets there. I, I don't know why, but at least I was able to get us this sort of Lego set, which is looking pretty nice. It's basically a classic uh, garbage truck set, which I will try and build later on. And finally, there and finally inside the last bag i uh i have like well actually before i move on to the last bag I actually remember i think i also have some more stuff that well this is stuff that my mom decided to get this nice christmas train ornament which i might hang on the christmas tree later on and this glue but no one cares about all that except for at least the uh, ornament so which looks pretty nice but anyways yeah the real jackpot that I actually managed to get there other than the Legos and book were actually they're actually in this bag right here so the first thing that is in this bag is a take along or take and play art there which I'm really glad that I got, so, because I was originally going to get a new Arthur to replace this uh, new Take and Play Arthur. I think it's a 2013 one. Anyways, yeah, you can most likely see some of the differences and similarities. Basically, the Take Along Arthur looks kind of a bit more taller than the uh, original Arthur. Whereas the original Arthur, to be honest, actually looks a bit more longer than the other Arthur. Just to... Second, if I put them side by side... Uh, uh, one second, if I put them side by side... Um, oh, okay, then never mind. I guess I stand corrected one more time. One more time. One more, let, give me a minute. I'm going to check one more time. Because I'm pretty sure that... When I compared it to another take along Arthur that I used to have, uh, this one used to be a bit more longer, but whatever. This Arthur I might use for a, I might make a custom out of, but this Arthur, I'm gonna be is the new Arthur I'll be keeping from now on. The rest of the, the next thing that's in here is something that I'm really glad that I've been wanting for. A very long while and it's this Ertl Caroline now this is something that I've been wanting to get for a while and I'm actually glad that I, that I got it at the train show of course it has all her little details and 
her nice little face on the front. The thing that, to be honest, actually kind of confused me about Caroline is that is why she actually managed to get a uh, is why she just had her eyes, her headlamps for eyes, or eyes for headlamps or whatever, like. For Arthur, she didn't really have any uh, normal, uh, any normal faces like these characters. Like Arthur, had this uh, gray face. I don't know why they didn't make a gray face for Caroline and just slap it on the front. Probably because it was too small and I don't know, way past their budget. But it still looks pretty nice. All right, so this next one that we have here is another one that I've been meaning to get for a while, but only that I lost it recently, but I got a new version of it. So this is either a Take and Play or a Take Along Diesel 10. Like I said, I have originally lost this and was hoping to get a new one. I was originally going to get thinking of getting the Ertl one, but never mind. This looks pretty nice. Actually, I got it. Pinchy's hungry. Yeah, they. Yeah. Pinchy's hungry. <laughs> so of course, like the, like the uh, old take and play and the take along models. Uh, Pinchy moves around. Pinchy can spin and move up and down, which is nice. And of course, he has bogey wheels. And of course, Joel has his all of the rest of his details, and as well as his evil face. So yeah, that's Diesel Ten. Finally, we in this bag we have another Ertl, another Ertl train, and this next one is Birdie. So to be honest, I don't really have the take and play version of him right now, so I can compare him and. Yeah, I decided, and I, I was too lazy to get the uh, Adventures one, but oh my god, whoever played with this model uh, really messed up with, really messed up his tires. Like seriously, if you look closely at some of his tires, you can see that they've kind of come off and one of his wheels have a little chip in it. But that's still, but that's okay, I can like fix it later. Make it all as good as new. And last but not least, we finally end up with what's is something that's not really a Thomas and Friends or train-related item, but yeah, another thing that's not train-related item, but whatever. And it's this Angry Birds car. Now, this is a nice Angry Birds car. I actually kind of like it. Basically, looks pretty good, just like, and it looks just like the Ang. They basically made it look just like the normal. Angry Bird character red, but oh, but except that they just slapped some reels on him. Yeah, take an Angry Bird, slap wheels on it, and what do you get? An Angry Bird's car. So yeah, that's pretty nice. <clears throat> so yeah. And so these are all the things that I ended up getting from the trains, from the, uh, from the train show. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little rundown of what I got there. And I'll see you all next time. And yes, I am going to build a Lego set, by the way. But once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. And goodbye for now.